how to use Deezers with eBay. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to use the dropshipping or the sourcing of the dropshipping platform such as Deezers with your favorite marketplace right there to sell things like eBay, which is going to be here considered as a larger marketplace to set up the products and also the easiest way to uh, be uh, found or your products be found on uh, the search engine so uh, all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go here i want to uh, set up something or say something from the beginning that there is no direct connection or integration between Deezers and ebay even though eBay is a uh, considered as a sales channel, so Deezers is going to be here uh, your main source that will outsource or right there the products from, uh, as you can see here, AliExpress. So we can go ahead and set up something from this tutorial that I'm going to show you on how we can connect uh, the uh, Deezers with the eBay. So obviously we are not going to make a, a direct connection since it doesn't exist but we are going to make an indirect rather connection so for those who doesn't know Deezers is a dependent platform that you need to connect it or integrate it within a sales channel like wix shopify and other sales channels platforms so the most famous one that could be easily integrated within a Deezers is going to be here Shopify. So all you need to do is to head over shopify.com, sign in for an account within this platform, and then you are going to set up your store online. After you have did that, you're going simply at the header of your Shopify store, then you're going to type in Deezers like that and then you're going to search for the app or the integration on the app store of shopify so obviously it will show up here as the best match result as you can see this is aliexpress drop shipping you're going to click on the app and then instead of having the open button you're going to get the install since i have already installed this app in my store so when I have installed the app, I have entered the uh, platform within the app and it is got or gotten right there my uh, same uh, username on uh, the Shopify store. So here everything is okay and everything is not complicated. So we are going right there to head over Shopify again after we have set up uh, the connection between Deezers and also Shopify. So I'm going to let you see here that we have already installed it. So when I click or search for Deezers, when I click on it, it will take me directly to the platform. So this is a proof that I have already installed the app. Now, when you are again on Shopify or your Shopify dashboard, you're going to type in here eBay. And from here, you're going to search for eBay in the Shopify app store. So basically you are going to get here the different apps or the third party apps that will allow you or allow a connection between your Shopify store and your eBay account or the eBay seller account to be more specified right there. So we have eBay integration, which is called DPL. We have the Shopify marketplace connect, which is the most famous one and tons and tons of apps so we are going obviously to uh, here install or seek for the shopify marketplace connect it is already installed i'm going to click on open and it will open up right there on the admin dashboard of our shopify account so what are we going to do here is to get our ebay account from here and then we are going simply to log it in within the marketplace connect so with that we are going to create a synchronization between the ebay products also the shopify product so what are we going to do right there is you head over here and click on connect marketplace so 
here we have uh, the marketplaces that are available so we are going to select one of those here we have the ebay so we are going to click on add a new connection from ebay acknowledge and whether it is going to open up ebay setting up the connection or the account from ebay so we are going to type in here the uh, google account or the uh, email account so we are going to click on sign in so we are going to uh, type in here a password here i think it is a google account or uh, it is not here so we are going to wait for the authentication right there i am a human i'm going to check that box of course then we are going to skip this uh, uh, captcha as you can see now we are going to select the ebay marketplace that we are going to sell on so we are going to see them all obviously i'm going to use ebay.com click on submit and normally it will connect my account right there real quick so we are going to wait for the processing and here we have the uh, resume of the sign in so we are going basically to click on next now we are going to see here the ready to list uh, as you can see products close match and no match we are going to ignore that and here we are going to see the barcodes and etc you are going to set up these for the importation or you are going to import orders by order type whether it is it doesn't matter for here for us in this tutorial but for you it will uh, do matter so you need to select that uh, uh, here with a care for taxes you are going to allow uh, ebay to withhold and remit right there or send sales uh, tax to shopify i'm going to click on finish here we have set up the uh, ebay account as you can see so everything right there is going to be like that so now we are going to head over the deezers and as you can see if we are going to import a, a aliexpress product from our ebay uh, from the uh, deezers account to our shopify store obviously we are going to get here the listing that we can go ahead and add to ebay directly and now let's go ahead and add a product from deezers and we are going to transfer it to our shopify store then we are going to list it into ebay so obviously here i'm going to select one of the products from there i don't want to check it on uh, aliexpress but i want to add it to the import list so i'm going to click on the hamburger menu then we're going to get the notification about it i'm going to click on check and here it will show me the imported products we have some on the uh, store and some not here we are going to push it to our store make sure that you are going to select your shopify store for the price and also the comparison you are not going to be obliged to modify it from here because we do not have a choice but we are going to push it to the store and then we can go ahead and make it that way so we are going to wait for it boom here we have it now we're going to check for the product if it is already set i didn't remember the product but here we have it so i think this is the product it has been successfully added or imported to our shopify product or the uh, shopify store so we're going to see here the listings the prices go ahead and change it however you want once you have did that you're going to head over the marketplace connect app then we are going to click on listing so when you click on listing so you are going to see here the list of the products that you have so here obviously we have chosen the uh, or we are going to choose the ebay store or marketplace that we have which is this one we're going to select the product that we have made it in so we are going to click on it and here we are going to enable the listing so we are going to click on it here save and it will right there set up the uh, listing into ebay but here we're going to modify something like the ebay title the subtitle the ebay category it is going to be here automatic or edit the store category the price you're going to set up here the web price for example you can edit the variation prices the quantity or the inventory you can go ahead and, and modify it from here 
you can add some best offers option for marketing purposes here we have the product identifiers we have everything so you can go ahead and add the business policies if you have description field for ebay or the mobile version of that you can add a video for that product if you want to make it here more visible for the uh, search engines we have here the templates you can set up some item specifics and here we have some conditions you can add some custom fields right there like names tags or whatever you want uh, right there we have some other fields like the synchronization of the dimensions uh, like the height the width the length and etc you can go ahead and put it on private listing and here we have it so in just a few uh, minutes right there is going to be here set so you want to click on the not listed if it is not listed so you are going to see here the errors that we have for example the price is not valid the shipping service is not specified and no offline payment selected that means that we need to set that on the ebay account that we have and here we have it so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i hope to see you soon on the next one